so over the last few days information has been trickling through the media that some trouble in cities like hyderabad even bangalore was mentioned is expected the environment of hyderabad had been uh, vitiated by certain provocative comments and when these kind of information trickle down it's mentioned in the media also even yesterday morning it was mentioned in the media that some of the cities have been alerted obviously some activity is taking place in those areas and when you have some information may not be very specific actionable intelligence you have some general information have we taken adequate steps to really immunize these cities particularly hyderabad where some trouble has been taking place on account of the environment that has been created so it's a challenge to our intelligence agencies as to how much we are able to infiltrate into those modules some may be inspired from across the border and some are local modules which are formed of misguided people who indulge in these actions <laughs> once they succeed because the timing is chosen by them the venue is chosen by them we can only go subsequently and investigate the crime we can provide some assistance some relief to the people but the real prevention lies in the strength of our intelligence agencies to infiltrate into all these modules and after infiltrating into all these modules they are able to burst these modules i have not the least doubt that many such modules have been burst in the past uh, uh, two decades but the fact that some of these go undetected itself is an indication of our weakness and therefore our strength and capacity at cracking these modules itself i think is the is the primary test of whether we are able to contain these incidents or not my suggestion sir to the government would be we can indulge in a debate on the color of terrorism we can indulge in a debate on the political aspects of terrorism but we'd be wasting our energies if we did that the real challenge before the indian society particularly the indian government is that whereas other countries which have had some solitary incidents have geared their systems in a manner that these incidents are not repeated why is it that we are not able to prepare our systems accordingly now in order to do that several suggestions have been made but you'll have to keep the reality of india and our constitutional setup in mind gathering cross border intelligence is a job of the union government gathering intelligence of terrorist modules across the country which defy state boundaries is a primary job of the union government law and order is a responsibility of the state governments that's india's federal politics and therefore to believe that only an institution which is created by one government at the center will be in a position to contain this itself will be inadequate therefore you will have to have a cooperation between the in center and the states an intelligence sharing mechanism the law and order in the states itself will have to be strengthened and more important the beat constable is the best collector of intelligence as to what is happening he is the best person to smell what are the modules which are acting and therefore the center to think that it can create a mechanism where it alone can provide a machinery for this itself may not be may not be adequate so we we can't allow our guard to be lowered merely because some noises are made from across the border that there is a great change of heart we have mentioned obliquely some of the honorable colleagues have mentioned and we know the reality that we've also been victims of terrorism which is either inspired or supported from across the border now across the border we do not know what entities to deal with there is the government of pakistan there is the isi there is the army there are non state actors and therefore there are different kinds of players 
who are always uh, maybe moving in the same direction, maybe working in different directions. And therefore, there can be no lowering of the guard because we've been quite high on the terrorist radar, particularly strength coming to local modules from even across the border. It may come across the western border, it may come through the Bangladesh route, it may come through the Nepal route. These are intelligence information, I'm sure. These are all available as far as the Union Home Minister is concerned. Any form of support to any color of terrorism itself weakens our resolve against terror. And therefore, when we start questioning the battle against terrorism, and it has happened, People have visited villages of those who have been accused of terrorism in order to show solidarity with those people. Even when our paramilitary and our police people have died fighting terrorism, we've questioned the veracity of those incidents itself. It's happened in Delhi itself. I think we need to know, particularly the political class in India must know, that we are not doing any great service if we start questioning this battle against terrorism only for the sake of strengthening our vote position. One important point, and this is the last uh, of the big points uh, that I wish to make, and this is for the Union Home Minister to consider, we have a strong intelligence network in this country. We hope it's a very professional network. Please allow our intelligence network to be used primarily for national security. Non-essential activities of the intelligence agencies must be reduced, if not completely stopped. Therefore, over-involvement of the intelligence bureau and other intelligence agencies, whether at the center or in the state, in quasi-political intelligence, I think is a waste of a national resource. Particularly when India is fairly high up on the terrorist uh, and insurgent agenda. And we have various forms of insurgency. The Northeast is a problem. North in Kashmir, we have an issue. Cross-border is an issue. We have the Maoist insurgency in the heart of the uh, country. And therefore, the need to allow our intelligence agencies to really function in this security environment and the need for them to be depoliticized, I think, is extremely important. And my last... Uh, suggestion to the Honorable Minister is yesterday's incident is a reminder to us that the war against terror must go on uninterrupted. If I use the phrase of some of our friends, it must be uninterruptible. There must be no lowering of the guard because it's absolutely clear that whenever we lower the guard, the terrorists get an upper hand. And we expect the Home Minister to assure this country at the end of this debate that this war will not be loosened in any manner and this war will go on uninterruptible as far as the national sovereignty is concerned for the sake of it. Thank you, sir.